بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The second medical biology lab is about preparation of the microscopical sections The objective learning of this lab is training in the laboratory aspects of the preparation of the microscopical section fixation, embedding, cutting and staining of the histological sections and no major staining methods used in histology and what cell components are visualized with the different stain to prepare of the microscopical sections for the light microscope there are many of the steps that we have followed The first step, obtaining of the tissue. The tissue required for the microscopical sectioning should be cut from the body using a very sharp knife. Why? To prevent damage of the cell. Then the piece cut into many pieces or slices. And this process obtaining of the tissue should be completed as soon as possible. Why? To prevent damage of the cell also. The second step is called fixation. To prevent post-mortem degeneration of the tissue the tissue slices have, be, have to be placed in the certain fluid called fixative solutions. There are many types of these solutions, such as formaldehyde, mercury bichloride, potassium dichromate, acetic acid, osmic acid. خطوة الفكسيشن أو التثبيت لمنع التحلل ما بعد الموت لذلك هذه القطع الصغيرة اللي استحصلناها من البدي توضع في فلويد خاص يسمى بالفكساتيف سوليوشن والأكثر شيوعا هو الفورمال ديهايد What the benefit of the fixative solution? These solutions act in setting the components of the tissue close together prevent bacterial growth which may also alter the structure of the tissue يعني البكتيريا إذا لم تحفظ هذه القطع من التشو في داخل هذا الفكساتيف سوليوشن سبب لنا ضرر وتلف وتعفن Harden the tissue so it can easily section into slices. أيضا تعطي صلابة للنسيج لذا وتسهل عملية التقطيع إلى قطع صغيرة. Some fixative may also able to increase the affinity of the certain components of the tissue for dyes. يعني زيد من قابلية هذه المكونات النسيج إلى الصبغات. The other step called dehydration. Why dehydrate tissue? Hydrated tissue is soft and contains hollow spaces or called the lumen, which deform upon sectioning. To prevent deformation, hollow areas are replaced by medium either wax or plastic. لماذا نمر بهذه الخطوة dehydration أو سحب الماء أو تجفيف التشو من, المس... من الماء بسبب أنه التشو يحتوي لنا على فراغات أو سبيس سبب أن هذه تلف أو تشوه بالنسيج عند تقطيع لمنع هذا التشوه أو التلف فيجب أن تملأ هذه الفراغات الموجودة 
بمادة يا أما الووكس باللايت مايكروسكوب أو البلاستيك بالإلكترون مايكروسكوب So the tissue water should be removed to permit infiltration of the paraffin wax شمع البرافين in the components of the tissue نسحب الماء لندخل مادة أخرى اللي هي برافين wax This process can be completed by passage of the tissue directly from the fixative through successively increasing concentration solutions of the alcohol, ending with two passages through absolute alcohol. Why? Why the tissue passage through the successively increasing concentration solution of alcohol? to prevent damage that mean shrinkage or swallowing of the tissue فيكون هنا السحب الماء تدريجيا وليست مفاجئ لعدم لعدم صدم الخلايا تبدا بالانكماش وتكون المقاطع غير واضحه فيما بعد The next step is clearing agent There are many types of the clearing agent, such as xylol, toluol, chloroform, benzene, and cedar oil, but the most common is xylol. What is the benefit of the clearing agent? Have the ability to soluble in both alcohol and melted paraffin wax, so the clearing agent replaces the alcohol in the tissue. بعملة الديهايدريشن دخلنا كحول هذا الكحول لا ما يذوب بالبرافين واكس ليس له القدرة على الذوبان به لذلك يجب أن تكون هنالك حلقة وسطية ما بين الكحول أو الديهايدريشن وما بين الإمبدينج أو الطمر لذلك نستخدم الزايلول أو أي مادة أخرى من الكليرنج ايجنت لي لها القدرة للذوبان في كلا الكحول والشمع البرافين الذائب. This step is called embedding أو ما يسمى بالطمر. The clearing agent should be replaced by paraffin wax by putting the piece of the tissue into melted paraffin wax in an oven warmed enough to keep the wax in the liquid state during the procedure. فيما سبق قلنا بعملية الدهايدريشن هو سحبنا الماء واستبدلنا بالكحول الكحول ليس له القدرة على الذوبان أو الواكس ليس له القدرة على الذوبان بالكحول لذلك استخدمنا فد حلقة وسطية اللي هو استخدام الكليرنج ايجنت فاستبدلنا الكحول بالكليرنج ايجنت هنا نستبدل الكحول الكليرنج ايجنت بمادة هو الشمع البرافين الذائب اللي ذي يكون بشكل جامد أو متصلب ويوضع في الأوفن لغرض الحصول على الليكويد ستيت The original wax replaced by fresh wax two or three times at frequent intervals Why? To remove the excess amount of the clearing agent أو الزايلول لأن هذه clearing agent قد تسبب بتلف أو عدم وضوح المقاطع فيما بعد. This paraffin is allowed to be hardened in the form of a block contains the piece of the tissue. This image shows the block of paraffin wax containing a piece of tissue. هذا باللون الأصفر هي عبارة عن التشو أو قطعة piece of the tissue وهذا ما يسمى بالblock of the paraffin wax with a piece of tissue The next step is called sectioning تقطيع A paraffin block containing a piece of tissue fixed by a chalk holder on a microtome To cut off the tissue into thin sections, about 2 to 10 micron, using an extremely sharp knife, 
So, what's the meaning of microtome? Microtome is an instrument used to cut off the block of the paraffin wax into thin sections, about to 10, 2 to 10 micron. The result of the sectioning process is a ribbon of paraffin consisting of individual slices which adhering to one another. نتيجة عملية التقطيع بالمايكروتوم وباستخدام سكين حاد لتجنب تلف البلوك تنتج لنا هذا الربن أو الشريط اللي يحتوين على قطع من البرافين بوكس تحتوي على التشو أو النسيج المراد تقطيعه The other steps Attaching sections on the glass slide The paraffin sections are carefully separated from one another and then a paraffin section being mounted on the microscope slide after being floated out on the warm water to flatten, flatten it يعني الشريط اللي نتج من الخطوة السابقة يفصل عن بعض البعض كل قطعتين أو ثلاثة تفصل عن بعض البعض وتوضع في حمام مائي ومن ثم توضع على الشريحة الزجاجية The result of the previous steps is slide containing a piece of paraffin wax holding or holds the sample يعني الناتج من العمليات السابقة هو هذا السلايد اللي يحتوي لنا على قطعة من البرافين ووكس غير مصبوغة تحتوي على العينة بداخلها على العينة The last steps staining The preparation for the staining Paraffin material that is still infiltrates within the thin slices of the tissue must be removed before staining processes can be started. Why? Because of the nature of the dyes is water, whereas the nature of this slide is wax containing a piece of sample. Therefore, removal of the wax, wax material can be completed by using of the following procedures. First, immerse in the glass slide bearing paraffin thin section in the clearing agent, Xylol, for 30 minutes. These agents act in dissolving out of the wax material. ذوبنا الوكس الشمع وتترك فقط العينة أو السامبل Then wash with 50-50 Xylol and absolute alcohol for 2 minutes And remove xylol by immersing in the absolute alcohol for 20 minutes and transfer to the successively weaker solutions of alcohol 90%, 70%, and 50% 2 minutes for each. Why use of the successively weaker solution? To prevent damage of the cells. Wash with running water for 2 minutes. Why? To remove the excess amount of the alcohol. The staining of the tissue sections can be completed by using basic and acidic stains, hematoxylin and eosin. صبغتين تستخدم قاعدية وحامضية. الهيماتوكسينين قاعدية والإيوسين حامضية ويرمز لهما بالرمز H and E. Which part of the cell stained with basic dye? The nucleus is a basophilic 
materials due to presence of the nucleic acids such as DNA and RNA, histones, protein, and phosphate group. Therefore, the nucleus stained deeply blue. Which part of the cell stained with acidic stain? Hematoeosine. The usually cytoplasmic material is stained with acid uh, stain, eosine, and gives pink or red color to the cytoplasm. We can explain the procedure of the staining as the following. First, immerse the section in hemotoxylin solution for 10 minutes. Then wash with a slow running tap water for 5 minutes. Why? To remove the excess amount of the hemotoxidine dye. Then check the section under the microscope. The nuclei should be stained deep blue. If not, return back to hemotoxidine for another 5 minutes. The cytoplasm should be free of the hemotoxidine. If not, immersed in acid alcohol for 30 seconds. Then transfer this section to eosine for the five minutes. طبعاً بالبداية التصبيغ تغمس المقاطع بالهيموتوكسيلين سوليوشن لمدة عشر دقائق وثم تغسل بالماء ومن ثم تفحص تحت المجهى. إذا النواة مصطبغة باللون الأزرق نكمل عملية التصبيغ. أما إذا لم تصطبغ النواة باللون الأزرق نرجعها إلى الهيماتوكسينين لمدة خمس دقائق وأيضا نفحص السيتوبلازم إذا كان يحتوينا على صبغة الهيماتوكسينين الزرقاء يجب أن نرجع أو نغمس الشريحة بالكحول بأسد الكحول لمدة ثلاثين ثانية ومن ثم نكمل عملية التصبيغ Then wash with running tap water for two to five minutes to remove the excess amount of the hematoxylin dye. After that, dehydrate with 50%, 70%, 90% and absolute alcohol for two minutes for each. يعني هنا لحد الآن هي صبغة طبيعة مائية موجودة من ضمن النسيج لكي لا يتلف النسيج وسبب تعفن يجب إزالة أو سحب الماء. نسحب الماء بشكل تدريجي بواسطة الكحول إلى أن نصل إلى أبسليود الكحول. Immers in cleaning, clearing agent xylol for two minutes. أيضا نحل الزايلول محل الكحول. Finally, mount with DBX by placing one drop of the mounting material on the section and then cover it with cover. Slip. This slide should be dried up or kept in the oven for 10 minutes. لبقاء السلايد لفترة طويلة للمحافظة عليه لفترة طويلة يوضع عليه مادة تسمى بالDBX وأيضا يوضع الكفر سليب غطاء ومن ثم تجفف لمدة عشر دقائق. This video shows preparation of the microscopical sections for the light microscope. This video is an overview of the steps taken in preparing tissue samples for light microscopy. This is a view down a microscope of a thin section of kidney. The kidney has been fixed, processed, sectioned and stained to show its cellular structure. If you try to cut a piece of fresh tissue and look at it with the microscope, all that can be seen is a structureless blob. There are several obvious problems. It is not permanent, so the tissue decays. It is difficult to cut sections thin enough to allow light to pass through the section, and it lacks color. These difficulties are overcome by fixation or preservation, provision of a support medium for the tissue, and staining. To preserve 
fresh tissue, it is placed in fixative for a length of time, suitable for the size of the piece and the type of fixative used. For example, a specimen of this size would be fixed in formalin for approximately 24 hours and then stored in 70% alcohol. The original sample is trimmed, transferred into a labelled plastic cassette and then into a stainless steel carrier with other labelled samples. The carrier is placed in the automatic tissue processor. In tissue processing, the water in the tissue is replaced with molten paraffin wax. To remove the water, the tissue samples go through increasing strengths of alcohol solutions. The tissue is dehydrated gradually to avoid excessive shrinkage. Paraffin wax is not soluble in alcohol, so after dehydration, the tissue is exposed to a solvent that is miscible with both alcohol and paraffin wax. These solvents, for example xylol, are known as clearing agents because they also make the tissue translucent. This laboratory uses a non-toxic organic solvent, histoline. At the end of the cycle, the specimen is immersed for an hour or more in pots of molten paraffin wax. The next step is blocking the specimen in solid wax. The tissue is removed and orientated as required in a metal mould, which has been filled with molten wax. The base of the cassette with the specimen ID on its side forms a lid for the mould. The mould is topped up with extra wax and placed onto the adjacent cold plate. The wax solidifies and the paraffin block with the specimen is removed from the metal mould. Sections are cut using a rotary microtome. The tissue block is clamped into the microtome. The knife is inserted and clamped into the knife holder. The knife stage is eased towards the block. When final adjustments have been made, the stage is locked in place and the dial set at the required thickness, routinely 5 microns. By rotating the handle, the block is advanced by 5 microns and lowered down past the knife to produce a section. These sections of wax and tissue form a ribbon that can be lifted off the knife and laid down in strips. Due to compression, the tissue sections are slightly wrinkled but most folds can be removed by floating out the ribbon or individual sections on a warm water bath. Sections are collected up onto a microscope slide and dried in a 40 degree oven overnight. The wax within the tissue sections is dissolved away by the clearing agent. The slides are then rehydrated because the clearing agents are not miscible with the dyes. This stage is simply a series of alcohol washes. The de-waxing and rehydrating steps are referred to as bringing the sections to water. The sections are now ready to be stained. Hematoxylin and eosin are routinely used to stain histological sections. Hematoxylin stains many nuclei a blue to black colour. Eosin stains cytoplasm and intercellular components pink. Sections are overstained in the hematoxylin section. Overstaining with hematoxylin results in many tissue components being coloured blue. The dye is then selectively removed by 1% hydrochloric acid solution until the nuclei can be seen clearly. This process is known as differentiation and is checked with a microscope. Sections are again placed in a weak ammonium solution to produce a deep blue colour. The slides are then stained with eosin. Eosin stains the cytoplasm and most intercellular products, for example collagen, pink, orange and red tones. Once staining is complete, the section is a mixture of purple and pink hues. To make the section permanent, it is dehydrated in absolute alcohol and then cleared in the clearing agent that is miscible with PIX. The clearing agent makes the section translucent. PIX is a synthetic mounting medium and acts as a clear glue-like substance that adheres the cover slip to the stain section. A drop of PIX is placed on the stain section and the glass cover slip is lowered onto it. The PIX will harden after the slide is placed in a 40 degree oven overnight. The mounted PIX has the same refractive index as glass. This means that in the light microscope, light rays are not further distorted as they pass through the section then the mountain and up through the cover slip. In summary, tissue processing involves fixation, where the tissue is preserved, processing, 
where water is removed and the tissue is impregnated with wax. Section cutting, where a thin section is cut from the paraffin embedded tissue. And finally, staining with hematoxin and eosin to give the H&E stained section.